So you want to learn how to make aesthetic YouTube videos? Stick around, I might be here to help. So I've actually had a few requests to make this sort of video before and to be honest, I was a little bit scared to make one first because I am relatively quite new to the YouTube game and I started posting around the end of November 2021 but I thought that I might as well share some of the tips and tricks that I've learned so far in hopes that I could help other people out there who have been wanting to start a YouTube channel but just don't know where to start. So I have tried several video editing softwares out there. Back in high school, I used to edit little video projects on iMovie but found that it was a little bit too limited in terms of its features. I've also tried Adobe Premiere Pro but at that time, I found it too challenging so I stopped. Then around about two years ago, I started exploring my love for video editing again by posting reels on Instagram and being a broke uni student back then, I ended up trying out DaVinci Resolve to make my videos and in my opinion, I think I got the job done but I did find their user interface a little bit confusing to use at times and once again, their features were pretty limited because I was using the free version and I've also been using Final Cut Pro which is what I currently use to edit my videos but today, I will be showing you how to edit on Filmora which is another great video editing software and I think it's great because it's an affordable alternative to the ones that I've mentioned and it just so happens that they are also the sponsor for today's video. In my opinion, Filmora has one of the easiest interface to navigate as well as having enough features that will help you produce creative visual effects, transitions, and titles in your videos. So in terms of editing my videos, I usually like to do it in chronological order, meaning that I start off with my intro first, then add music that I think works well with my intro, then simultaneously edit a rough cut with music, then for each of the segment, I then integrate effects with the clips, then do my dialogue such as captioning and voiceover last. I usually start off with my intro as that is what usually sets the tone for the video. In terms of where I get my inspiration from, this can usually range from either watching my favorite YouTube creators or my favorite applications, movies, games, or even era. I usually like to put all of my creativity in that 10 to 30 second intro because it not only helps catch people's interests, but it also acts as a sort of motivation for me to keep editing. So in terms of the intro, I usually put in my favorite clip that I think showcases what the video is going to be about. So editing on Filmora is super easy. You can import your videos by clicking on the import icon or through dragging and dropping your files into the media section. I like to usually start off my intro by finding the first clip or song that I want to work with and just dragging it onto the timeline. use Photoshop or Photokey, which is essentially a free online version of Photoshop to create these little doodles or graphics that I'd like to put in my intro. So in terms of the actual chunk or body of the video, I really like to make my video clips work side by side with the music. I like to use songs that remind me of the themes, colors, and graphics that I use in my video. So usually I choose indie or lo-fi music, which I get from Thematic to achieve this, but it doesn't stop there. I also like to edit each individual clips to fit with the song's beat or rhythm by looking at the audio's waveforms and just cutting the clips whenever there is that noticeable bump. I find that doing all of this just makes for a much more satisfying viewing experience. I would also like to mention that Filmora has an auto-synchronization feature that easily helps match your audio with your video. So if you recorded audio using an external microphone or even recorded using the voice recording app on your phone, you can easily match this with your corresponding clip in just a couple of clicks. I also like to use little sound effects such as mouse clicks, video game button effects, typewriting sound effects, 
to usually emphasize a title or graphic that comes up in my video or to help transition from one scene to another. Filmora also currently has a campaign on this month where you can enter your own creations and win prizes so long as you create a video using Filmora's own music effects. I work with hours worth of footage that will obviously need to be cut down by just a few seconds or a minute. Otherwise, no one will want to watch it. So to make this longer clips more interesting to watch, I usually like to speed them up and sometimes to do gradual zoom ins here and there so that my videos are not all static. whole film process as well, I like to move my camera around every few minutes so that you can catch me doing the same thing but in different angles so that it looks a little less boring. Transition for me also depends on the type of concept or theme that I'm going for in that video but usually my go-to transition effects is this light leak effects, the circle zoom in effect. I also like to explore vintage or retro style effects to emphasize when there is a montage going on and I really like how Filmora offers a whole bunch of these effects. Also really like about Filmora is their speech to text feature which allows you to transcript voice to subtitles with just one click. This feature has saved me so much time on transcribing subtitles and also boosted my editing efficiency. So you want to learn how to make aesthetic YouTube videos? Stick around, I might be here to help. For fonts, I get my inspos from Pinterest and usually when I like a font, I try to then search the name of that font on thefont.com and usually it's there. But if I don't know the name of that font, I then screenshot that font. I'm saying font too many times here. Put it on whatthefont.com to get many different types of fonts that are either paid or free. So here's Filmora's extensive library of title and subtitle effects. They also have a bunch of built-in font resources that you can use depending on your aesthetic. My usual go-to fonts are these. In terms of color grading, I'm honestly still learning. I never really looked into what's good and what's bad color grading. I kind of just observe some of my favorite creators on YouTube and try to first imitate it and develop it into my own. So for me, I like to have a more pastel sort of vibe or filter in my videos. So to achieve this on Filmora, I usually like to reduce my contrast and brightness, increase the temperature, and increase the tint to have a more pinkish sort of hue in order to give a warmer look to my videos. I also like how on Filmora you can have the option to easily upload 3D LUTs. So essentially that's it guys, I didn't really want to give a step-by-step -step process into how I make my videos because everyone has their own unique styles. For myself, I started out by observing my favorite creators, what sort of things did I like and not like about their videos, and try to implement my own spin to it. And through this, I was able to find what my brand is about. Although that's not to say that I already have that completely figured out, I think that I'm still continually learning every day on what exactly my brand is. So I hope that encourages you guys to do the same. So yeah, so that about wraps up my video. So if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. So please leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you want to. And also don't forget to check out Filmora as it is a great introductory software to get you into video editing.